am patiently waiting, patiently. <laughs> okay, we can start. Everyone, I'm Anita. I'm the prayer chaplain today. I welcome you to the Unity Family Christmas service. We're honored that everyone listening chose to spend time with us here today, whether online or whether in person. At this time, let us meld our hearts now in collective consciousness by taking a deep, cleansing breath. Do it with me. Inhale. Let's do it again. And one more time. Inhale. Calmly steal your mind and open your heart to the words spoken here today. Breathe in the love that is in this room. If you're watching online, you too are a part of this collective consciousness. Now release any thought or worry that has weighed you down until this very moment. Be thinking about what it is. What's, what's been worrying you? We, we're getting it all in our minds, thinking about what it is. We're getting on our nerves. Okay, now we're going to let go of it and exhale. <sighs> let all the negativity dissipate. Know that the words spoken here today offer peace now. Exhale and let the tension leave your body. So let's, let's do a little shaking, like shake your body loose. <laughs> let us pray. Sweet, sweet spirit. We express gratitude for our time to celebrate today the birth of Jesus. We acknowledge that inside each one of us is the spirit of Christmas, the love of God, the Christ within, not just in this season, but always and in all ways. We open our minds now knowing that we are in the perfect place mentally, physically, and emotionally. And at this moment, as we begin to contemplate the birth of Christ, we know Jesus' birth is representative of a rebirth of every living person, a renewal of faith, strength, and peace within each human body, mind, and spirit, a new beginning for us and for this world. We go forth knowing that when Jesus was born, it was perceived as a tough time in the world's history. His birth was in divine time. It is also divine timing that we are present at this time in history, awake and aware. Again, this we are aware that this is happening in divine time. Help us, O oh God, remember how we show up defines who we are as a collective consciousness. We ask for divine assistance on our path forward. We come together today representing the love of Christ. Remind us, O oh God, as we interact with others, that the Christ within each person is there if we look for it. We ask as well, Spirit, that you guide us in how we show up as individuals demonstrating this love today and all year, and to look for the Christ in each person we encounter, to be the love of God no matter what the situation, to see the good in every situation, because surely we believe goodness is contained in each person and every situation, and if we do, we will find it. And so it is. Amen. Let's all stand. Let you read, let's us stand now. Yeah. <laughs> Do joy to the world. Oh.
its way. Let every heart prepare some room and heaven and nature see. And heaven and nature see. And heaven and heaven and nature see. Joy to the world my good now brings. Let us in songs employ while fields and floods, rock hills and plain. Repeat the sound in joy. Repeat the sound in joy. Repeat, repeat the sound in joy. Repeat, repeat the sound in joy. We rule the world with truth and grace and make the nations prove the glory of the righteousness and wonders of their love and wonders of their love and wonder wonders of God's love and wonder wonders of God's love Good morning, good morning, and welcome home. I'm going to ask you all to repeat after me, and those of you who are on Zoom, if you will watch us virtually, if you'll just post in the comments the part you're going to repeat. Everyone look around at your neighbor and repeat after me. Good morning. I love you this morning. And I sure do appreciate you being here. To our virtual church world, please know that we are saying that we love you as well and we appreciate you as well. Help us grow this loving community by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our pages. Thank you very much. And now, if you'll join me in reading our affirmations together, the affirmations for December are on your screen. I am the flowing stream of life. I choose to live my life as a loving, harmonious expression of God. I rest in the knowing that everything is happening exactly as it should. And now Anita will join us in another song, followed by our Advent reading by Bobby and Suzanne Reebok, and then Maria Mata will bring a song. Don't we look all Christmassy, y'all? <laughs> <I know. clears throat> I want to talk about this song just a minute before I sing it. This song is written by Mark Lowry, and the way that it started was he put this as a poem. He wrote this poem, and he put it in his Christmas card at Christmas, and he sent it out. And so a long time goes by, and someone said to him, you know, you should really get the melody to that song and make it a song. And so um, he asked a friend who plays harmonica to write the melody to this song. And so Buddy Green wrote the song. And it, this was years later after he wrote the poem. Anyway, it's been recorded by over 400 people. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save us sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? 
this child that you delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would get sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm a storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod? When you kiss your little baby, then you kiss the face of God. Mary, did you know? for playing for us today. Each Sunday this Advent, we have lit one candle in the wreath. <clears throat> And now on the fourth Sunday of Advent, we will be lighting the fourth and final candle, signifying that our time of soul preparation has led us to feel joy and a beautiful sense of expectancy and renewal. Today we light all the candles in our wreath, making the circle complete. Faith, peace, and love give way to joy. Christmas is right around the corner. <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalms 118.24 Joy is contagious. This time of year it swirls around us, palpable on the streets as we walk past twinkling lights and colorful decorations. We can smell it in cookies baking and homemade eggnog nogging in the back shelf of the refrigerator. It bursts forth from carolers and the holiday music playing around us. It is reflected in the eyes of children eagerly awaiting their gifts. It is equally present in those quiet moments before this time, before the fire. At Christmas, we celebrate the true light which enlightens everyone. That true light is in each of us right now. This is our great work to shine our divine light and share our joy every day, all year round. 
to be that light and when we or those around us may feel alone, don't smell any cookies or see lights or hear carolers. The reminder of this holiday season is to celebrate the divinity we are and joyously share our light with the world. May this be a special time in which we accept our true purpose in life is joy. We cultivate joy by appreciating the gifts that grace us every day. Joy is a divinely inspired attitude we take with us into every experience of our lives. Let us choose to focus on the good in our lives. If we pay attention, we see that the joy Jesus inspired through his life, ministry, and message was meant for us too. We are the consciousness of joy and we claim joy each and every day. I share my attitude with everyone I meet as the divine happiness in me recognizes it in self and them. I gratefully affirm I am God's joy. <clears throat> Will you repeat with me three times? I am God's joy. I am God's joy. I am God's joy. Just where we go and help us to be wise in times when we don't know. Let this be our prayer when. I pray we'll find your love and hold it in our heart. When stars go out each night, Yes, 
I sang that was with Victor Tynes and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get through it. She had to say that right before I had to speak, right? <laughs> She's going to be a hard act to follow, y'all. I am the prayer chaplain and I'm on duty today. Um, another prayer chaplain is sitting over there wiping tears. <laughs> Charlotte, no matter what you're going through or you're growing through, our prayer chaplain team wants to help you go through it. We want to pray with you about it. If it's good, we want to pray with it. If it's bad, we want to pray about that too. Or if you decide it's bad, maybe we'll help you decide it might not be such a bad thing and it could be an opportunity. You just never know. Seek one of us out today for the service. So again, this is Charlotte. I'm Anita. And we'll take you in that room in there and we'll be alone. You know, just walk up and grab us and we'll go off and pray together. Prayer works. So let us do it together now. I invite you to think of someone or something that you'd like to send some love to as we pray together. Nana, can you bring the prayer box? Now, if you don't know what that prayer box is, that is for you to write down what you would like to see happen in your life. And amazingly, every time I've done it, it has worked. So, you know, that's good advertisement for the prayer box, right? Thank you, Nana. Today, the people on the prayer list, and I'm a bad prayer chaplain because I forgot to ask his first name, but it's Rick Hyatt's dad, Mr. Hyatt, Lisa Fuller, Shandrika Malone, and family, Prince Farrell, the Jenny family, Ron Shaver, Debbie Stevens, Mike Bullard, Together, let us affirm that these loved ones are whole, perfect, and complete. We are standing with them, knowing that God is already actively working in partnership with each person to grow through the appearance of challenges. Wherever we are, God is, and all is well. And now if you'll just stay in this state, we'll talk about Christmas. Christmas is the most beautiful time of the year. We want to have that feeling now, but we want to keep that feeling all year. So I want you to remember what it feels like now, the excitement. Remember being a child? Remember sharing with your children the beauty of Christmas, the importance of the birth of Christ. We invite you to take this feeling with you all year long. Don't leave it just after the season's over. Take it with you. Don't let yourself get depressed in January when all the hubbub's over. Take that spirit with you. So if you'll take a moment and just take all of this in. Say to yourself now, I am the spirit of Christmas. Say it with me. I am the spirit of Christmas. Say it again. 
I am the spirit of Christmas all year long. So it is. Miss Marion. What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping when angels greet with anthems sweet while shepherds watch are keeping this this is Christ the King who shepherds God and angels sing. This, this is Christ the King, the babe, the son of Mary. So bring him in, sent go. Come, peasant king, to own him. The king of kings, salvations bring. Let the loving hearts enthrone him. This, this is Christ, the king who angels guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the babe, the son of Mary, the babe, the son of Mary. And now we'll have announcements, and we're going to begin with a special announcement from Miranda. This announcement is about a class that she's going to teach for us. Good morning. Question. Do you love Unity in Greensboro? Do you want to see Unity in Greensboro grow and thrive? All right. So join me Tuesday nights, online and in person, January and February, and we're gonna learn some simple steps we can all take to help continue to grow Unity in Greensboro. A sign-up sheet with a flyer is gonna go around. If you're even just kind of vaguely interested, go ahead and put your name down. I'll reach out, give you more information. So Are this you is... It won't all be marketing. There will be a little bit of marketing in there, but like, don't, don't, don't worry. It's not going to be a bunch of marketing or technology. It's going to be little steps everybody can take. Very accessible for anyone who's not necessarily tech savvy. So be there. Thank you, Miranda. First announcement for the second announcement is our Christmas Eve candlelight ceremony. It's going to be Friday, December 4th at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary of the Presbyterian Church of the Covenant. Make sure you get one of these little announcements from one of the ushers so that you can put it on your refrigerator or stick it in your purse or wallet. Give them to other people and invite more people. Absolutely. So you get more. So that's how you grow our church, too. And then the second announcement is about a muscle testing workshop, which is going to be Wednesday, December 29th at 6.15 in person and on Zoom. 
Connecting with a different kind of wisdom, how reliable is the effect that subtle energy has on our mind, body, and spirit? Can we test it? How do we interpret what it is telling us? I'm excited about that. Carla Green, QRA and Healing Touch Practitioner, will share her experience and insight into this wonderful tool. And now we're going to have another song. Hello. Let's have some music and then we'll do a message. Do you remember me? I sat upon your knee. I wrote to you with childhood fantasy. Well, I'm all grown up now But can you still help somehow? I'm not a child But my heart still can dream So here's my lifelong wish My grown-up Christmas list Not for myself but for a world in need No more lives torn apart That wars will never start And time will heal all hearts And every man will have a friend that right will always win and love will never end this is my grown-up Christmas list what is this illusion called the innocence of youth may be only in that blind belief can we ever find the truth Thank you. So you're lucky. I'm not talking much today. Um, you know, we decided this would be a, a, a musical service mostly, and so we just wanted to get lots of music in, and, and I think music speaks to the heart in a special kind of way. It certainly does for me. And, uh, and a chance to hear from all of our own beloveds right here. And, um, and then on Christmas Eve, it's going to be almost the same thing. It was different music, different songs, but, um, but mostly music then as well with, with a touch of what draws me and keeps me in unity, which is uh, Bible metaphysics. And um, 
So here we are, Bible metaphysics for Christmas. Um, we, we are still spending uh, today and next Sunday finishing looking at the step of rest, which is an important and the 12th step of living in the circle of prayer. And so as we were doing that and celebrating Christmas, my, I, I, I was led to look at what is it about this, about this time and about this story that then helps us not just in learning what somebody did long ago, but how it affects us and helps us right now today. So I looked at, we all know Joseph and Mary had traveled and they went and paid their taxes, right? And then they couldn't make it back and Mary's pregnant. We now know she was very, very, very pregnant because the birth happened, right, on that day. So uh, they had to rest and they ended up out in the barn right there in Bethlehem. And... Um, I always loved, um, Della loved to point out, you know, don't give me no poor little Jesus boy because um, that inn wasn't what we think of as an inn now. They weren't the, you know, the big plush fancy mattresses and the nice bed and breakfast rooms. It was a bunch of people. If it was full, that meant people were sleeping almost shoulder to shoulder on the floor and it was packed full of people. So rather than having to get packed up in that, especially now that we know what happened right after, which after she would have laid down, they got their own private barn, right? <laughs> uh, they had their own space full of love, right? So, but what is important about resting? In Bethlehem, Bethlehem represents a house of bread or what we would say metaphysically the abiding place of substance, of divine substance. And when we look at that, even from the perspective of after Jesus was born, he was placed in the manger. The manger sounds like such a uh, um, honorable place to be, right? It's a trough. That's what we would call it now. Or, or what we humans would call it is a plate. It's where you put the food before you consume it. And, and so when we know that Jesus represents the God working within man, within human, all of us, right? And we know that Bethlehem, where this all happened, is the place of abiding substance. When you were taking this required time for rest, because that's what they had to have then, that is when you get the substance that you need to keep yourself going, it, it's not only an okay thing to do to get your substance for your physical well-being. It's required, and it's how you get your highest and your best life. That is the lesson of Christmas is, yes, there was this birth, and there was this man who lived a long time ago who showed us how to use all these Christ principles, not just so that he can be like, look how cool I am, but look how cool this is that all humans can do. And we're still working on it now. And so that story is most useful if we take the metaphysics and say, I'm going to use this for my own thinking, for my own living, and live my highest and best life. And I'm going to take that rest, and I'm going to go to that Bethlehem within my mind where I fill myself up where I consume what I need to keep myself going, both mentally and physically and all of that. That is available to all of us all the time. You don't have to get on a plane and travel to the place on a map called Bethlehem, whether that be in Pennsylvania, right up the road, or, or you know, in the other country. There's a Bethlehem right here in your mind where you can rest and you can fill yourself up with all that you need to keep on going and going and going forever and ever and ever and ever for all of humanity. And when we do it 2,000 years from now, somebody can say, no, I saw that story where Janine took that time and stopped and filled herself up and she had this great thing that happened, right? And then she was looking at beautiful lakes in the Adirondacks, right? And, um, and whatever those stories are, you're, you're the next set of stories. What you do today can be the next set of stories that are talked about thousands of years from now. You're that special. You're that, can you say that for yourself, that you're that special? Can you believe that for yourself, that you're that special? If so, say with me, I'm that special. I'm that special. I bless you. I behold the Christ in you. 
and we're going to enjoy some more Christmas music, and, and then we're going to get some gifts out to our kiddos and get to have fun of the giving and the receiving, and we get the receiving while we're giving because we get the happiness of, like, oh, I hope you enjoy what I got you, right? That's the greatest gift at this age that I've found. Like, as a kid, I'm like, oh, I hope I like what they got me. And, <laughs> and, and now I, I take so much time in, like, trying to pick out the perfect gift for somebody else. I'm like, oh, I hope they like what I got them. So, um, all right. Let us, uh, as we prepare for our love offerings, I'll get the... Um, well, if you have it with you, I invite you to take it and place it in both of your hands to pray on it. And our, our ushers will get ready to do a collection. And um, then let us all say, to, and if you're, uh, if you're going to give electronically later, whatever on that, I invite you to place your hands on your heart. And let us all say this together. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I have all that I give, and all that I receive, and I am grateful. And while they collect, we're going to sing Jingle Bells. Everybody's going to sing this one. The words are going to be on the screen and everything. Yeah, y'all stand up if you feel like it. I won't tell you what to do. You're in charge of you. All right. I don't remember. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh Oh, the fields we go, laughing all the way Bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright What fun it is to laugh and sing a sleighing song tonight Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. A day or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride. And soon Miss Fanny Bright was seated by my side. The horse was lean and lank. Misfortune seemed his lot. We got into a drifting bank and then we got upsot. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. All right, so we will have our chaplain come up and pray over our love offerings and gifts, and then Janine is going to bless us with a song. If you'll close your eyes with me. We're so grateful for any gift anyone gave. It's the energy with which the gift is given. It has nothing to do with the amount. Of course, it'd be good if it was a big amount. <laughs> Thank you, God, for this church. Thank you for the people in it. Thank you for everyone watching online. We celebrate Christmas today. And remember, you are the spirit of Christmas. And so it is. Amen. I don't know it. You're going to know it. You will know it. We're singing Rise Up, Shepherd, and Follow, and it's everything that Wally just talked about with his sermon is what this song is about. It's about rising to our highest truth consciousness, rising to go and join ourselves with this Christ awareness and our oneness, and leaving our cares behind and rising up to the truth that all is well.
right? So here's the way it's going to go. I'll do the first little part, and then the rest of you guys are going to do the response. So you've got to stand up, and I need some hands clapping. And this is how the response goes. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. That's your part. Let's just try it once. Ready? Rise up, shepherd, and follow. That's it. It's easy. You got it. But I do need some clapping going on out here. Oh, it's okay. We're, oh, rise up. Oh, rise up, shepherd, and follow. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. That's the second part. You'll figure it out. <laughs> it's easy. It's fun. Jim knows it. Yeah, ready? All right. Here we go. There's a star in the east on Christmas morn. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. It will lead to the place where the Savior's born. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. If you take good heed to the angel's words, rise up, shepherd, and follow. You forget your flocks, you'll forget your herd. Rise up, shepherd, and follow me. Follow, follow, rise up, shepherd, and follow. Follow the star of Bethlehem, rise up, shepherd, and follow. on Christmas morn. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. It will lead to the place where the Savior's born. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. If you take good heed to the angel's word, rise up, shepherd, and follow. You'll forget your troubles, you'll forget your care. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. Follow, follow. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. Follow the star of Christmas morn. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. There's a star in the east on Christmas morn. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. It will lead to the place where Christ is born. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. If you take good heed to the angel's word, rise up, shepherd, and follow. You'll forget your troubles, you'll forget your cares. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. Follow, follow. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. Follow the star to Bethlehem. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. Rise up, shepherd, and follow. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> Try to get that out of your head. <laughs> Go ahead and hang on up here, and let's get all the other singers up here for our last song we're going to sing together. And then uh, I want to remind you all, please come on Christmas Eve if you can at 7 o'clock and invite other people and bring friends and get those pretty flyers that we paid to print. No sense in just turn them in and into note paper. Use them to invite people to come. And then as soon as we're done singing this song, we'll invite our, our youth to head to the back table so that the adults who bought gifts for you can give them directly to you. And, uh, and, and this, this is our peace song today. We're going to sing We Wish You a Merry Christmas because hopefully we all wish each other that. And the words are there and I'll be looking at them. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, bring us 
us some figgy pudding. Oh, bring us some figgy pudding. Oh, bring us some figgy pudding and bring it right here. Oh, bring us some good. Oh, bring us some. We're gonna sing piggy. Oh, bring us some figgy pudding and bring it right here. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy Holidays, everybody.